Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. It is a sunny, beautiful day here on Funland. I thought it was the perfect opportunity to go ahead and put up kind of a southwestern style ranch, add some piggies, add some tractors, make it really cute. I cannot wait to get started, but before we do, don't forget to leave a like on the video and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. All right, we are getting right into it and putting up a little cliffside. Now, this will be literally the only cliffside that we are going to be using today because we're only using it to help us put up our little farmhouse. So, of course, we're going to use the storefronts because they're absolutely amazing. And I wanted to do a two tiered um, farmhouse. So, adding a little extra in the back so that we have room to make it and adding a couple more storefronts. There you have it, the main part. Oh, and yes using a little chimney in the back so it kind of mimics that look of having a chimney stack putting up some fencing which will come down um i was going for kind of a different style for this farmhouse we've done farmhouses before um i didn't want to do the three at the bottom two on the top the typical that we always do so I was going to use some customs and some simple panels to expand the house a little bit, change it up a little bit, make it a little different. I don't know. I think it works really well. You'll see as it comes together. Now, I'd love to know if there are different and easier ways to make farmhouses. I mean, I've done quite a few tours and videos where I've seen stuff, but all the house builds are really similar. And I don't know. I just didn't know if anybody had any other ideas. If you do, let me know. I'd love to see it. Send me a dream address or let me know if there's a different way to make one. I'd love to try something new. I'm always looking to try something new. But this is what we came up with. I was going to put some shrubs up at the top, but I really didn't want to have any of the cliffside showing in this farmhouse build. So we went against it. We're just going to knock back what we have there. And that is our farmhouse so putting a little fencing behind just to elongate it but that is it that is our farmhouse um, i'm going to be using that partition kind of to make a garden but as always we need to have a path so poppy is trying to lay out the first part of the path so that we know what we can work with and there's the partition kind of wanted to make like a really cute backdrop to a little tiny garden just in front of the farmhouse now back to setting up like i said it is a farmhouse so there has to be farm so we're putting down some soil so that we can finally use some of the wheat fields and create a little wheat field patch something for the tractor to work on so that's what we're doing we are going into our storage finding some of our wheat fields and some other decorations oh the cactus I have yet to use, so I was really excited to finally have an area to build them. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos I was talking about putting up this farm a while ago. I wanted to make a little farm 2.0, make it a little better. We've done a farm on Funland before, but it was kind of, um, I mean, obviously it was before the update, so before we had this amazing stuff to work with to create a farm so it was a little more simple a lot of simple panels this is a lot this is so much more fun it becomes a lot more intricate so now we're just fencing in our little wheat field here setting it up fence in making sure we had room i was trying to put a scarecrow and then i was gonna take out some of the wheat to put the scarecrow but i just decided to go ahead and put it behind it looked really good unfortunately stitch has lost some fencing there to go with his yard but that's okay and now adding in a little more of the path heading towards more areas on the farm but it's already taking shape and it's so much fun seeing it come together like this there we go more path there's so much path. I don't know. I I wish there was an easier way to put in the paths. But there's not. I don't know if there's a pattern that anybody else knows about. Like if there's like a system 
to put it in I don't know it's just it's one of those things that looks so good but it takes so much time to put in in this case we kept it really simple I just wanted to take up a bunch of the grass that's in front of the farmhouse because paths they're amazing for that they change the entire area without changing the area just by changing the amount of green that, that's showing it changes up the whole look adding just a patch of path here because we're going to be putting up kind of like a work shed and I wanted it sitting on a patch of dirt it just I don't know it seems more farm like the more dirt that there is the more farm like it seems although I don't know if this is a farm so much as a ranch no I'd, I'd say farm I don't know let me know what you would call it I'm calling I'm gonna stick with ranch but let me know your thoughts if you think it's a ranch or a farm all right, we are in our storage once again, trying to find all the many, many things because now that everything's been pathed out, the main house is up, now it's the fun part of just decorating. And like always, I have an idea of what I want to do in my head, but it just, it's kind of an as we do it, how it comes together. So of course you have to have the windmill. And I was trying to be really conscious while I was building this to be able to walk around. There are so many builds here on Funland that you cannot get through. So I was trying to make a really big conscious effort to make sure that my spacing is so you can actually get around and um, see the entire build. Because a lot of them, you can't. It's really jam packed. Now this is gonna be pretty full, but it's still movable, which is good. That's what I was going for. I was going for maximum amount of stuff in an area, but still being able to move. And I think we've accomplished that. We ran out of fencing, so needed to add a little bit more. I like the idea of the barbed wire fencing for the farm. I think it just looks cute. I could have gone with the country fencing, but I don't know. The barbed wire works so much better. And I found these piggy banks while I was at the Happy Home Paradise. And I thought, how cute to make a little pig pen at the farm. So that's what we did. We grabbed a couple of pigs. Now we're penning them into their little pig sty and they're just so cute i think it's just adorable to have little animals at the farm that aren't just on the simple panels like i said on the farm that we did before we had a horse but it was a simple panel design kind of stuck in a little shed and it looked cute do not get me wrong but i like the idea of having like a 3d pig pen so when you walk in you can actually see the animals now again grabbing more trees and decorations as much stuff as we can fit into this little area bags of soil some pine trees uh, i think this is one of the few designs where i don't have any actual trees that are like planted trees that weren't in the background before we started this is all pine trees and the cacti i think that's the plural of cactus could be wrong but I think it is but lots of the cacti all over the place putting in a little bunny uh, taking out some more of our cliff sides so that we can add some more trees I specifically went for the trees without the leaves because I think that's a, it's more of a southwestern look I mean it's pretty dry out <laughs> in the ranch area I think like Montana type so I definitely went with the no leaves. Putting up some street lamps because we need light. But you can see it's really, really coming together. It's starting to look like a fully functioning ranch. Adding in our tractor. And then I got thinking when I had the tractor that we had some of the mining carts left over from a previous build that we'd done. And I thought that would look really cute behind the tractor like it was pulling the actual cart. So that's what we did. We set up the tractors. Now it is pulling its load here on the farm. Added another wheat field. A little signpost, a few more decorations, but you can see how it's really starting to come together. Of course, the villagers are always, always in, in and around while we're doing a build. I think it was rolled earlier. There we go, putting in our bucket, adding a little more fencing, because fencing is another thing. It, it creates the area. But there you have it. 
all that talking and all that work and you have a fully functioning ranch and a southwestern one at that that's what i'm calling it you've got your wheat field you have the big farmhouse you have all the cacti the tractor the little pig pen and the shed you've got the wheelbarrow and all the soil some lighting some hay beds moving our stonework kitchen there it is, our completed project. I think that we made our farm, Farm 2.0 for sure. It looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I think it's a great addition to Funland. Um, I really hope that you guys like this build. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on the name. Definitely let me know about house builds. If there's any other way that you know how to do them, let me know for sure. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video with me, for liking and subscribing. And I'm definitely going to be back with more Animal Crossing videos.